Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy for Summit God in Burlington, Kansas. It is January the 6th. It is Sunday morning. I don't know what you're doing today, but I want to tell you that you should get into church somewhere, somehow. I don't know where you're at, what time zone you're in, but I know here in Burlington, the corner of 9th and Yuba uh, at 1030, uh, First Summit God would love to have you be our guest today. I'm starting a series called Soul Detox, and, and it is really coming and connecting with the, our devotions for the this month. And, and so come out and join us at 1030, the corner of 9th and Yuba in Burlington, Kansas, and, and let God speak into your life. Would love to have you. All right, so th on this Sunday morning, this is really the first time in like three or four years that I've ever done Sunday morning devotions, but uh, on video. I've, I do devotions every day. So as we continue on talking about soul detox, I want to and Colossians 3 encourages us to set our minds on God and not on earthly things, which causes our toxic thoughts. One of the best ways to start focusing your thoughts on God is to spend more time with Him each day in prayer in the reading of His Word. So, in this question today is this. What are some specific toxic thoughts you need to change? And the next question is, what are some ways you can begin to make that change? See, just a couple days ago, this is the 6th of January, just a couple days ago, uh, we, some of you made New Year's resolutions. You're, you're wanting to change something in your life. So, what can you change spiritually? In our church today, January 6th, we are starting our 21-day fast to refocus and, and just anticipate a great move of God. So, in the next 21 days, we are doing a 21-day Daniel fast and, and um, just believing God for great things. But let me, let me read Colossians 3, 1 through 17 to you. So, if you have been raised with the Messiah, seek what is above, where the Messiah is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on what is above, not on the, what is on the earth. For you have died and your, earth, your life is hidden with the Messiah in God. When the Messiah, who is your life, is revealed, when you are, you also will be revealed with Him in in glory. Therefore, put on the put to death what belongs to your worldly nature: sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, God, these God's wrath comes on the disobedient. And you once walked in the in these things when you were living in them. But now you must also put away all the following anger, wrath, malice, slander, filth, l filthy language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you have put off the old, old self, which is its practices, and have put on the new self. You ha are being renewed in no knowledge according to the image of your Creator. In Christ there, there is not, not Greek or Jew, circumci circumcision or uncircumcision, barbarian or scythian, slave or free, but Christ is in all and in all. Therefore God chosen ones, holy in love, put on the heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience, ex accepting one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has complained against another, just, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, put on love the perfect bound of unity, and let the peace of the Messiah, to which you were also called in, one body controlling your hearts, be thankful. Let the Messiah, also the Messiah, dwell richly among you, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gr gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word and in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to Him, to God, the Father, through Him. So let me just encourage you, let me pray for you, and, and hope to see you at church this morning. Lord, I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you give them a great day. Lord, give them the opportunity to worship you with spirit and truth. And Lord God, give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today. In your name, have a great day. God bless.